So now in this video, we're going to look at a voltage booster. And this one was pretty cheap. I bet I probably paid like a dollar for it. And it can probably input about, I'm guessing, 500 milliamps of current. It outputs a higher voltage. But as you increase the voltage, you'll get less current in addition to losses. So if you have 5 volts coming in and 10 volts coming out, whatever current you have coming in, you can spec about half out current wise because the voltage doubled plus there's losses within the uh, unit so it's going to be less than that but in any case we will turn uh, the multimeter on these alligator clips here go to the alligator clips on the uh, probes right there now these alligator clips the other end of uh, the uh, wire there there we go is the USB right there the uh, USB plug, male plug, that's going into the USB plug of the breadboard power supply. So this takes in, I have 9 volts coming in, you can vary the voltage, but 9 volts works really well. 9 volts coming in, and it's outputting 5 volts out of that USB. And so you can power something via USB. In this case, we're powering the voltage booster. So you can see the voltage right now. The breadboard here is providing 5 volts. It's just kind of barely enough to power this circuit here. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit. And it's a transistor switch that I had in my last video. But I'm going to remove the uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor, which is really setting the current. The transistor is just on fully. And uh, now the LEDs, you may not have even been able to tell that they turned on. That's because they're blocking so much voltage about two volts each and uh, so a little less than two uh, volts each because such low current is flowing through them probably about 1.6 each not leaving much voltage for the uh, resistor to set current now I'm going to uh, replace the resistor can't really see where I am and uh, in any case we saw earlier that uh, there you can see they're a lot brighter so the voltage drops of the LEDs, uh, they add up really quickly. So I have five series LEDs there connected to the 5 volt power supply. And of course, they're not lighting. But if this is a 1 kilo ohm resistor also, if I come closer to uh, the uh, negative supply there so that I'm bypassing some of the uh, parallel LEDs, there you can see three are really dim again let's go to a two and two are really bright so one would be a lot brighter so in any case we're going to uh, actually now get the resistor off the power rail and across the five LEDs there and we're going to go to our voltage booster there's a trim pot here this is a I forget what they're called but uh, you can turn this trim pot many many times and so we can see we got 7.32 volts this is how you set the voltage and if you have alligator clips it helps a lot and you just take the uh, trim pot there and a screwdriver so I think clockwise goes up yeah there you go so you just turn it up until you get to the uh, voltage that you want and uh, 15 was too high Let's go down a little, and so these are five in series. They're going to block about 10 each, and so we can go about 5 volts above that. That should be okay. The rest of the voltage will go across the 1 kilo ohm resistor, which will set, if it's 5 volts above about 10 volts, that 5 volts approximately will be across the resistor it will set the current to about five milliamps of current so let's unplug this from the meter so now a lot of these they have this one has about three pins looks like only the three pins of the trim pot we don't need that at the moment on the bottom there but still those are short circuit uh, potential points, so that's why I have it on something non-conductive. This is also non-conductive, 
but it's easy to touch a wire or something or maybe even the traps underneath underneath there so I have it on there but in any case we set the uh, voltage there and again I'm gonna take alligator clips these ones they have uh, they're just jumpers there that I crimped alligator clips onto so we're gonna clip the uh, negative side here and uh, the black one to the negative side there so it says out and then a negative dash and then this one says out with a plus so they're usually marked pretty well which one's in and out so that's out there and then this one is marked uh, in and uh, it's not going to show up too well oh voltage in v in right there this just says out so in any case that's usually marked pretty well a lot of times with these though everything else is not uh, terribly marked so there we go we got that clip there and there's jumpers there so the negative we're gonna still keep to the negative side of the power supply the uh, breadboard power supply now the positive we're gonna come up here to where the uh, resistor is and there you can see the LEDs are lit uh, pretty well and a little bit better than uh, those right there and now we come back to the multimeter so the main thing is we have a 5 volt power supply there and even with a very cheap voltage booster this is a low power uh, circuit and so we can use a cheap uh, voltage booster but we will turn the uh, power supply on there and we will see that we have 5 volts at the rail which uh, it's also 5 volts there it's harder to measure the uh, USB we can measure the voltage coming in right here so let's actually do that and we will connect to that pad and to this pad and there you can see we got 5 volts coming in and 15 volts going out and so now there's uh, 15 volts across this right there 15 volts we can see the voltage actually making it across the resistor so it looks like a 5.7 so it looks like these are only about uh, probably about 1.9 each across them which makes sense because it's not a ton of current so that's one of them and uh, here is the other so as I said these are these voltage boosters they're really cheap and they're they're really effective they claim high efficiencies like uh, 90 or 80 percent uh, something like that and uh, some of them claim more than others I don't know how accurate that is you'd have to look at the current coming in and the current coming out as I said if this worked perfectly 5 volts coming in and then now 15 volts coming out you expect three times as much current coming in as going out and uh, if it was operating uh, perfectly and we got to exactly 15 volts going out and whatever is less than that is loss that's energy that it takes to actually boost the uh, voltage which uh, is unavoidable but as you can see it's really practical all I need is uh, this 5 volt power supply and this one I don't know what it can go up to probably about 30 volts the uh, listing I got it on eBay and the listing is gone now I probably bought it a few years ago and uh, so you want to look at the specifics for any voltage booster you get so in any case that's it thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video